Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in a little bit of a follow-up video to yesterday's, uh, in, in the description that I wrote above the video and on some of the pages, I put that I often talk about the angle of the transducer. And um, some people were, uh, you know, asking about the angle of the transducer, but I said, in reality, what I should be talking about is the angle of the beam. In the top right-hand corner of the all those all three of those videos, um, you could see the beam angle change. Your goal is when we're shallow water fishing, say around trees and things like that, is to get that top beam where it's just about parallel to the top of the water, maybe slightly up. Now, some of them. I had the beam pointing up into the top of the water, and that's when you get the readings from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put it on the trailer here in a few minutes, and I'm going to we're going to take a look at what I mean by angle too high, angle too low. Now note, although we're manipulating this this uh, uh, transducer up and down, you still need to pay attention to the beam angle on the screen. This is just a guide to let you understand how I'm manipulating it. And I'm using a Summit Outdoors mount. Um, they are also giving away a prize in this 10,000 uh, subscriber giveaway, which we're getting closer and closer and closer. Um, but understand that this is just a guide and it's showing you how I manipulate um, my transducer. It's very quick. It's very easy, but remember, the beam angle is what's important. Don't worry about the transducer as much as the beam angle. And that's my fault for saying transducer angle because I'm used to looking down at my transducer going up, oh, that's a little too high, and I know it. But if you're, if you're just learning the, the perspective mode part of this, the beam angle is what you need to be paying attention to, and then you'll be able to see your beam angle and know that when you set your transducer, this is where how much of a tilt... Uh, I should have to achieve what I'm looking for. So let's get right into that. Take a look at that. It's going to be a nice little video today, but I want to tell you to go to chattyboys.com. Give them a look. Go to XHD Mounts. Go to Summit uh, Outdoors, SummitFishingEquipment.com. You know, go give these guys a holler. I mean, make them, make them feel like, uh, you know, that uh, that they're, it's worth their while to give some of these gifts to them. You don't have to buy anything, but look at them. They have a lot of nice things. I mean, Chatty Boy's got everything you can want. The best mounts I've ever seen, and this is Bass Boat Technologies, any of them, are the mounts that, um, and I've got a review on one mount coming out. It's called a Titan. <laughs> it's an XHD mount. But let's get right into the uh, transducer um Let's take a look at it. It is a summit. We're going to take a little bit closer up. We've never taken a real close look at it and see how it tilts and those types of things. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You know, I'll say it in the next part. All right, let's get straight into this. This is forward mode. I have it on the, the starboard side of the mount. Uh, this is forward mode. Uh, this being flat, this angled back. But people want to know how easy is it to change with this is the summit uh, fishing equipment.com summit outdoors mount. How easy is it to get to perspective mode? You twist, and I'm gonna this has a breakaway mount, that's what that is. Uh, you twist, and let me see, it's hard to do it with one hand. Twist, roll up. So let me go through that again. Now, it's sitting here like this. You're going to twist like this, and the, the, the shaft trying to break away makes it a little bit harder. And then you simply twist up. Now, I have been doing this long enough as a perspective, I'm big into, you know, big prime perspective mode guy, that I know that this to this, and actually somebody told me that, but this pretty much is pretty straight. You can take this corner, run a straight line across, make sure it's perpendicular to that, and you're pretty much straight. Because this beam right here, the middle one, uh, is perfectly straightforward. 
This points to the left, this points to the right. That creates your 135 degrees. There's five different beams in there. But here's what we got to do. We're going to talk about this. <clears throat> Don't pay attention to this part. Pay attention to this. Garmin's mount is about like that, pointed down at that angle. And I'm sitting on a candid uh, boat ramp, but understand what I'm doing. Now, if you do it like this, where it's perfectly, per the mount is perfectly per uh, parallel to the water, the beam will be shooting upwards. Upwards at an angle, and that's where you get all the surface uh, waves. You get to see a lot of the surface. If there's trash up there, you can see that very well. If there's leaves floating, you can very well see that. That is good if you're trying to fish a buzzbait you, or a frog. You can see your buzzbait and frogs on this. But for the purpose of fishing trees, like we were in yesterday's video, a slight down angle. Not that's flat. Now watch how much I bend it. That much. That much. Now, I may, after looking at the beam on the screen, I may decide that I need to go down a touch more or up a touch more because remember, I'm trying to get the beam flat. Now that that's angled downward, the beam should be flat or parallel to the water's edge. I hope that explains it. And if you want to see again how fast it switches back, there you go. Money in the bank. I did break one of these one time. Let me flip the camera. I did break one of those one time. Hit a stump. Completely my fault. But what I told you about customer service, it separates a company. I sent them a message on Facebook. It was late in the evening. I just got back from fishing. I didn't have a signal. Late in the evening, didn't get to call them. He said, can you take me a picture? I sent him a picture. He said, one's on the way. I actually got it the next day. I don't know with the way... Uh, COVID and some of the shipping things are now, whether you'll get it the same day, the next day, or maybe, but it's going to be pretty quick. I sent him the pictures. He said, another one's on the way. They have a lifetime warranty. Uh, but it's the fact that he answered the messages quickly. He, he was nice, polite. I don't even know his name. I wish I did. Uh, we've talked through Facebook messenger, but I really don't know his name yet, but he is one of our sponsors for our giveaway. That doesn't change the fact that I've been talking about him long before he was a sponsor for the giveaway. Matter of fact, the reason he approached us is because we do talk so good about him and people are visiting his site. But that is a Summit Outdoors, SummitFishingEquipment.com. Go there. And don't forget, you know, ring the bell.